there were so much opportunities out there and all these cool English speaking bot worked, but what about the German speaking bots? <laughs> Um, yeah, you do a presentation about the chatbots and the um, yeah, era of, of digital finance in the context of fintechs. Um, I directly said yes, I would do it, but as a small disclaimer, three weeks ago I had no idea about this topic. So um, all of the things we prepared, it just prepared for you. So. Um, we did a little research and, um, on how we prepared for this day. We really want to take you on a small journey uh, of how we got to the topic and how we got here for the presentation. So, Mark? Okay. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah, I'm uh, Mark Busse. I'm the uh, co founder and CEO of 1000 Grad Digital uh, Agency from Leipzig. We work closely with, uh, together with companies such as Deutsche Telekom, Deutsche Bahn and Ernst Herr Schulbuch Verlag. I gained experience both in um, individual customer projects and in the development of um, standard software products. And personally I am a passionate supporter of, of agile methods. Yeah, and I'm I'm Dennis. I, um, I'm very new to uh, Thousand Degrees Digital and uh, my focus is yeah, to, to get things going. In the company I've been before, I was a digital consultant for Run Energy from Cologne and also for Volkswagen. And the things I did there was very, it wasn't so rocket science, we just did applications. We did mobile applications, um, uh, voice assistant skills, and um, when I got the opportunity to work with Mark on the new uh, topic of chatbots, I directly said yes because I um, thought yeah, this, this might be some uh, new kind of user experience a person could have getting away from um, just a mobile device um, to a real conversation, and that's what I do at um, 1000 to e digital. So, um, but um, some Short words about uh, this. We are um, located in Leipzig. We just came here from Leipzig um, this this morning. And um, what we do is we um, develop a digital application for enterprises to make communications. So what our focus is, it's communicating in some way with <coughs> applications. So um, we don't have some, we don't have the the research focus. We have a communication focus. So um, if there are any um, deep tech questions, you can ask Mark, um, I'm just uh, the communication guy here. So, what's the deal with chatbots? So when we um, thought about the topic and um, got it into uh, yeah, the context of finance, we just crunched the numbers we got um, through all the statistics we find. So when we just um, you know, googled, let's say, fintechs or financial um, solution of financial problems. And the first thing that uh, came to our mind was the, the number um, one important trend for retail banking, and for this year is to remove friction from the customer journey. Whoa, what a, what a, we are totally mind blown to make the, the whole customer journey simpler. Wow, what a wonderful deal breaker. So, and then um, the second study showed which fields they want to. Um, focus on the um, fintechs, it's all the, the personal branch. So what uh, the most fintechs do is to make uh, not only the, the B2B um, you know, communication, the, the B2B relationship with the retail bank easier, but they really want to um, get on the, the personal level, to make all the personal financing um, you know, simpler. So when taking a look at the big picture, there are a certain field where also the um, field of AI is disrupting the physics sector and the um, thing that we thought that you can somehow conclude um, are personal banking, AI systems and the, the personal financial management in this field. So we are trying to, to funnel our ideas here. So, so now for us, statistics and studies, um, so when we took a look at the market of um, chatbots, um, we um, found 
this, this little expert um, from the Allianz. It's, uh, it's a bot where you can um, get information about car insurance. It's like uh, the guidance service assistant. And when I we are, went online to check this, this freaking thing didn't work. I went there, as you can see, at around about uh, yeah, 10 p.m. Uh, started the chat, and nothing happened. And I didn't get any response uh, until this day. So it, it, it was, uh, uh, let's say, I, I made a sad smiley on my user experience. It, it was um, <laughs> very interesting. So, but um, we, um, on, our, on our look on the chatbot theme, we focus on um, Facebook Messenger at this point, because the most used uh, messenger in our region here, so we only um, took an um, example from the Facebook Messenger. So the next thing um, we found was the um, insurance board from Progressive, and this was um, this is a board that, that makes it very simple to get a quote on your insurance, so to, to get a price on, let's say, your car insurance, and, and this was uh, a different um, uh, user experience I had there, and it was very easy to start the conversation, I get direct, direct response, it didn't matter on which language I started the conversation, and it even could small talk with me. And the cool thing is, um, yeah, when we all had our first iPhone with Siri on it, we did what all, um, do you want to marry me, I hate you, and what so on. And the thing is, um, the, the flow uh, bot from Progressive always got me back to the topic. No matter what I, uh, how I swear to her, how many times I called her names, um, she managed very smoothly to get me back on track, to get me back on the topic. So um, she earned a happy smiley for my user experience. So, and what about the fintechs? So, what are the, the small uh, financial tech startups focusing on? So, what do they do? And this got um, the, the, um, the main focus um, we had on was the personal finance thing. So, I had a look at the Plumbot, uh, um, which is still sending the messages. It reminds me every morning, hey, you, you, you somehow started with me, why don't you add your um, personal spending with me? So this was um, a very clever bot, and it's, it's a very engaging, so it engages with me all the time. When I start talking with, uh, with it, it uh, started talking with me, which was uh, a very clever way for engagement, which none of the other bots did. Is there a comment you Mark? Ah, yeah, this is a screenshot from Mark. <laughs> So, um, yeah, as I said, uh, as I saw very briefly in Jörg's presentation, uh, you also did um, yeah, take a look at Clio. Um, it's a very cool assistant because it's not only a focus on the conversation, but um, it also integrates my, my bank account, where, where it uh, somehow categorizes and classes my, my spendings to give me an um, uh, overview of the spendings I had um, in this month. So it's also a very, very clever thing, which I couldn't really test, I just had to relay on the um, things I found on the internet. And one as well was um, us, um, Trip, it's a bot for, um, they're really training for, um, what, what's the word, the word for it, to, to produce, uh, I don't know, well, expenses. Uh, it, it, it reduced, yeah, it... Um, Basically, it just read the second line. <laughs> well, <laughs> but I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> thinking about it to, to reduce it. It's much better, I was. <laughs> Improve. Improve! There it is. <laughs> yes, and all these things worked. It worked, and they were very engaging, they had direct benefits for me, and I was... Um, yep. There were so much opportunities out there, and all these cool English-speaking bot work, but um, but what about the German-speaking bots? So where where are the, the German bots at this point? Where why isn't there anything working right now? So and this is where Mark uh, <laughs> where, where Mark had some ideas. Yeah, I don't know why uh, there are no German-speaking bots, but. Um, mm -hmm. We, um, we asked ourselves um, uh, what expectations do users have um, uh, of such an assistant? And 
uh, we found uh, the personality of a concert of a concert um, uh, would be uh, the best for such a personality because uh, a concierge uh, knows his clients, um, he cares uh, deeply and personally for them. Yeah, the concierge is a, um, a good personality. So we, um, um, we built our own concierge image <laughs> and, and among colleagues and potential users um, we have identified the following sub roles and tasks for uh, such a perfect future financial concierge. So he should uh, be at the same time a banking assistant, a contract manager, a financial coach, a financial planner and so on. And yeah, let's go deeper. <laughs> okay, in his capacity as a banking uh, assistant, he can always tell me my balance and recent transactions. For that, he has to um, he has to get read access to all my bank accounts, and he has to make uh, he should make my payments. So, as a contract manager, um, he knows all my recurring contracts and their parameters. Mm, and with that information, he helps me to find and make uh, better deals, better contracts. And he also plans and optimizes my instruments. So, uh, as a financial coach, he helps me to reduce unnecessary expenses. Okay, this is a fitness coach, but the idea. And uh, he helps me to achieve uh, savings. The financial coach supports me um, to change my yeah, my negative habits, I like the fitness coach, and for that he keeps track of my spending categories. Okay, as my financial planner, he helps me to set my financial goals, and he also cares about my retirement, and explains me concepts uh, of financial products. Okay, what technical services and databases um, are necessary for such a bot? First, we need APIs. Um, an, API to uh, an, an API with access to, to my uh, bank, account, uh, bank account transactions. Then we need a service for the automatic categorization of the spendings. This is, um, the, I think, a core feature of the, of the spot. The service should be based on uh, supervised uh, machine learning. And we also need a database with actual offers or deals, uh, maybe from a broker or a, a database or a marketplace. Yeah, following general, feature, uh, general um, features are expected uh, from a financial concierge. He recognizes my biometric, for instance, my biometric uh, safety features. He can uh, be reached also by smart speakers and by connected car. And <clears throat> he connects me with the customer service of my, um, of my provider if it's necessary. And he, he can communicate with other bots. Okay. Yeah, and <laughs> this, this was the point where we did, we, we thought a lot about it and and there are a lot of requirements and ideas that might be, and this made our head explode in the last um, two weeks. And so we thought, okay, how could this look like? So we um, yeah, built a demo just for you guys, um, how you could start to build a financial planning system at this point. So disclaimer, this thing is just for you. It uh, hasn't been released yet by Facebook. And um, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, so let's, let's try it out. There it is. So, oh, yeah, this could go very, very badly, but let's, let's try it out. So, los geht's.
Uh, so now um, the board gives me an introduction of its, of its uh, current capacity. It uh, introduced me by my name, I'm as all the, the FinTech board does, and now it could give me um, a bit of you know, onboarding process, a bit of um, deeper information on what this uh, application is um, capable of and what it's not. So um, we are now asking for more information of its services, um, which is also um, there. <clears throat> yeah, it um, gives me the information of the compliance that it's only um, read access to my bank accounts, um, as Mark already mentioned, and um, yeah, it gives me the, the value it has for me to save my expenses out there. So let's give me more information about security. As I'm from Germany, most of the German customers and uh, clients are very focused on um, the security. So, as I said, it's only read access to my bank account. So, möchtest du wissen, wo ich mein Geld verdiene? Do you want to know how I make my money? And which is also, so to make another black box of how fintechs actually make their money. <coughs> so, yeah, it's a provision based bot in this example. So, we are now um, through the onboarding process. So, and now um, we can have a look at the um, overview, what the um, topics are. So, what, um, what's the current capacity of the um, chatbot we did here? So, it gives me an overview of my um, bank accounts. It could also give me an overview of my current contracts. Um, I could um, also make a saving plans for my retirement, for my, for my later life, and of course, um, yeah, I can manage my notifications. So, um, as I said earlier, Plum is still sending me notifications, and I um, yeah, turn it off finally after being all excited. Yeah, new message, and it's only Plum again. So, um, let's have a look at the counter übersicht. No, I'm not connected. Ah, so, ah, yeah, we can connect it with one computer. Ah, that's so spannend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have to click those games. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So now I've got a, a web view to um, connect to my existing bank account. It's only a demo. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, as I'm a digital native, I choose my favorite service as PayPal. <coughs> so. <coughs> so um, should I click on you ready? Yeah. So, now I can go um, back to the overview and have a look at my current PayPal balance. So please don't look at my balance. It's my PayPal balance. Um, okay, and this is um, how you could easily easily approach um, the user experience with a chatbot to give you um, your uh, introduction about <coughs> your. Um, you're saving at this point. Yeah. You check your contract, your car, uh, car insurance contract. Ah, okay. Um, I think you have to go to the contract. Well, I will choose this, this view again. <coughs> so, let's have a look at my contracts. Ah, my car insurance. Yeah. Now, um, this concession at this point gives me an overview of my contracts in the field of uh, my, my car. And uh, as I'm a very humble man, I just drive a VW Polo. So, let's see. Ah. Oh, adjust to either car. That's all I need. Now it's making the black box magic in the background. 
Ha! Ah. Sure, sure I will. And now, um, this is just a, an added functionality on how I, um, the um, you know, concierge, as we um, thought it can um, yeah, improve my, my contact at this point. So, and this is how much we could do um, <laughs> with uh, just a few days of um, you know, hard coding at this point. So, um, yeah. now it's time for questions. <laughs>